Well, hello out there in Blogger's World. Karen Jones here, and it is. Oh, let the birds join in today. It is a lovely day. It is spring. It is cool in Vegas, so I'm very happy. Anyway, I would talk about the weather. Let's get straight to the point. Are you judging based on race, class, education? etc 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 inquiring minds want to know no I'm asking because you know it really is amazing how our society is structured around these specific things um, I can remember when I was a kid growing up in Brooklyn and um, hanging out with my friends and then I come upstairs and my dad would be home from work and he would say he would stop me and he'd say, stop talking like that. Speak correctly. Speak English correctly. And, and as, as I was growing up, it was like really annoying, but it was also, I knew, important for the outside world. Yes, the outside world has very, very sharp judgments around how you should look, how you should act, how you should speak. And I know I'm not preaching to the choir here. You all know that, right? It is truly amazing how uh, our societal um, rules and regulations, our social norms are built around how you look, how you speak. Speaking, specifically growing up in Brooklyn, you know, hanging out with the gang. There's, you just don't speak like that when you're at a job interview. <laughs> Doesn't work. So. Um, what I, what I, what really though surprised me was when I moved to Italy and I was learning Italian, and in that time of learning Italian, of course you're out in the street, you hear a lot of slang. People have slang. There's slang in every society, but slang represents a certain class structure. It represents not having the money to have the education to speak a certain way, and uh, and it exists also in Italian because I can remember being at my then boyfriend's house and his mother would correct my Italian. She would literally say to me, this is how you say it, don't say it that way, that is how they speak on the street. And there it was again, <laughs> rearing its ugly head of judgment. Yes, we live in a society where um, you have to have, you have to be a certain way if you want to be accepted, if you want to be successful, if you want to make money, if you want to live a certain way. And I just want to remind you all that those judgments that you hold so dear in judging your peers and uh, strangers are judgments that are perhaps denying you a richer flavor of getting to know people or acknowledging and honoring people but just for exactly who they are. Because there is no class distinction in acts of kindness. There is no class distinction in the midst of tragedy, in the midst of horrible um, um, climate charge situations like hurricanes or tornadoes or earthquakes or tsunamis. Everybody's at the same place, but what does it take? Those kind of tragic events for everyone to say, hey, you know my fellow man? No, we immediately jump into class distinction, race, um, religion, anything to find out what separates us instead of finding out what connects us. So, remember that those judgments are judgments that you use against yourself oftentimes and not. Don't judge yourself, don't judge other people. Do your best people. I know it's difficult in our society. But our society, first thing they see is what color you are. Next they see, they judge you on what you're wearing, which proves what class you're in. Next, they'll judge you on how you speak, your education, once again, your class distinction. Then they'll judge you on your age, as you get older, or if you're too young, or if you're too old, and you're judged immediately on those things as well. Remember, underneath all of that, there is a being, a soul, a spirit, whatever you want to call it. And we all, when we all leave, we all leave the way we came in, with nothing but who we are underneath it all. So I leave that with you, you beautiful, gorgeous people. <laughs>
and I remind you not to judge. Do your best. Try to see underneath it all. Yeah. That's it for today. Karen Jones, signing off. Can I explain how it began? People who had something I felt. Oh, deep in my soul.